You may have heard there was an incident during Donald Trump's Monday visit to Arlington Cemetery. What distinguishes this from other Trump incidents is that the rules at the center of the story are particular. Arlington is the final resting place of the men and women who sacrificed for their country. Its rules are not mere suggestions. They honor that sacrifice. CBS News Pentagon reporter and producer Eleanor Watson joins me now to help unpack this story. Eleanor, what more do we know about the incident and kind of it, the, the trail of what we've learned and how it came about? Hi, John. The Army is now directly contradicting the Trump campaign's account of what happened on Monday. In a statement released today, the Army says that a female staffer was, quote, abruptly pushed aside by members of the Trump campaign team. That directly contradicts the campaign claim that no physical altercation occurred. The Army says the staffer did file a report with the military police, but is deciding not to press charges. According to the Army, the staffer has faced unfair attacks uh, for trying to enforce rules that were given to the Trump campaign ahead of time about filming at the cemetery. The, some of those attacks come not only from Trump supporters, but also from the Trump campaign itself, whose communications director said claimed that the staffer was, quote, clearly suffering from a mental health episode. The Army's statement, which is rare to wade in, for them to wade into a pl political controversy, directly rebukes the Trump campaign and defends the cemetery official, noting that the cemetery staff every year puts on nearly 3,000 public ceremonies, like the one on Monday, without any incidents. And Eleanor, tell, me, tell us about Section 60, which is where this took place, um, and, and, the, and the rules that are ironclad and longstanding for that section of Arlington National Cemetery. Yeah, well, federal law uh, prohibits filming and photography throughout the cemetery related to campaigns and any partisan activity. But officials are particularly sensitive about Section 60, and that's for good reason. Section City is considered, and when you go, feels like sacred ground. That's because, as you noted, that's where the veterans from Iraq and Afghanistan are buried and are still regularly visited by their immediate family members, their parents, their siblings, their spouses, uh, their kids. And that's why the cemetery has very strict rules about filming there. Now, some family members of victims killed in the Abbey Gate bombing did invite former President Trump. And for sure, it could be an honor to have a former president visit. But there are strict rules in place because there are other families who have loved ones buried there who may grieve differently. We heard from one of those families last night in a statement, a statement from Master Sergeant Andrew Marcosano's family, said that they learned from Arlington that the Trump campaign did not adhere to the rules and that, quote, they hope that those visiting this sacred site understand that these were real people who sacrificed their lives for freedom. Eleanor Watson at the Pentagon for us. Thank you so much.